Okay, we're going to set up the radio for the iMac, and we're just using one cable, the USB cable, uh, going from the radio to the back of the computer. And uh, we're going to set it up so we can use RUM log NG. And I'll show you what has changed. I'm going to hit menu and set, and then connectors. And all of this is pretty much the same. I had to change the output level on uh, one of them. Uh, but what has changed is the CIV. Go down to the third screen, touch CIV, and uh, what has changed is the uh, link. And uh, normally it, it was like this on the Windows computer. Uh, we want to hit that and then click unlink from remote and the baud rate set to 115.2. Uh, the echo back is turned off. I noticed with uh, Mac Logger DX, uh, I think I had to turn it on to get the rig control to work right. But for Rum Log NG, uh, that's the way it's set. Now we'll go over to the software and get it running. Okay, I just did a perfect take on this one, but I recorded it in a FLV format and the Mac doesn't open up the FLV format. So let's start over again. This is the uh, the iMac that I bought off of eBay. Got it for under two hundred dollars. It's got a bad LCD. There's a line down, a thin blue line, and uh, I don't know if you can see it. It uh, it doesn't really affect too much. I can replace the LCD for about a hundred bucks. But uh, not too bad a shape. I really like it. I've been uh, playing around with it. It came loaded with uh, the operating system Sierra. And uh, right off the bat, I noticed something that was a little bit odd. When I went to Finder and I was looking at her devices, it had the hard drive here the Macintosh uh, hard drive, and it said MacBook Pro. So uh, evidently the MacBook Pro image was loaded on here. I don't know a lot about Macs, but it just seemed a little bit odd. So I, I downloaded Sierra from the uh, App Store, put it on a USB drive, I made it bootable, and then I uh, did a fresh install of Sierra, and this is what I got. And I already downloaded a couple of programs, but uh, we want to get the ICOM 7300 uh, working, and to do that we need to download the uh, USB driver first and I already have the cable connected to the, the iMac and the radio powered on and it didn't affect it uh, when I installed the, uh, the USB driver uh, and then I installed the uh, Runlog MG and it connected right up so uh, let me show you how to do that I've got a couple of shortcuts on my desktop uh, just to save time and I'm going to minimize this first place we, you want to go is uh, the uh, the USB driver and I think uh, when I do that I've got a shortcut here and yeah you do have to double click on it so the Mac's a little bit different uh, one of the things you'll notice is the mouse scrolling at least with this mouse it's opposite of a Windows computer and I seem to remember that. Anyway, go to this web page and here's the uh, download link for it. You just click on it once and it will start to download and uh, it, that's pretty quick. Click on it again, it brings this up and uh, click on it one more time and it'll open up the uh, disk image and you'll see that it places the icon out here opens it up and uh, this is the Silicon Labs driver double click on it and it's going to walk us through the installation and just keep clicking continue and it didn't take up much space at all ask me for my password And it takes just a minute to install it. I 
I really like uh, using this. This the screen is really nice. The monitor, uh, the resolution is fantastic. It's uh, it's pretty high resolution right now. Um, I can back it off just a little bit. The text is really small. I'm gonna have to play around with that some. I need to use my glasses and the screen is pretty close to me. Alright, it's been installed. I can click close. Then it asks me if I want to move the installer to the trash. Click uh, move to trash. Close that. And uh, this is still out here, the, the image. I'm going to drag that down to the trash. So there you go. The next thing we want to do is uh, install RunLog next, gener next Generation. There's the link for it. And uh, this is the website. I'll put the links below. Just click on that once. And it'll start to download. I like uh, this about the Mac 2. Shows me what I got going on today on my calendar. Nothing today. The Ritty Contest is on. Got the stocks. Got some weather in here. That's kind of nice. Shows me notifications. Somebody posted in the uh, Facebook page the Icon 7300. Anyway, that downloads. Click on it. And there's a uh, run log MG. After you download RunLog, it shows up down here, but it's in the Downloads folder. And what I want to do is drag it over to the Applications and put it in there. And there it is. And from the Applications, I can drag it and uh, put a des desktop shortcut out there so I can get to it pretty easy. And this is where I normally open it from. Just double click on it. And there you have it. Uh, let me go ahead and show you what I did. Go over here and then go to Preferences. And it's real simple. Go to the uh, Transceiver Control 1. Select Use Cat. Select Send Data to FL Digi. Manufacturer's Icon. And the 7300. There's a 7300. There's a 7300 Control. We use the Control. Interface is Serial. Push to Talk RTS Line. And I left this alone for now. The uh, cat serial port is this one. That's what we installed. And the baud rate is a 115.2. And I'll show you how I set that up on the radio. And this is left the same, the same. You click close, and as soon as you click close, you'll see the uh, read control come up. And uh, this is a real nice clean interface. There's some macros down here that we can add later. But uh, this is really nice. The settings, uh, the show the scope, I'll, I'll show you that later. Uh, edit the memories, the band stacking, and uh, the fixed edges. You can edit it right from the software. You don't have to go into the radio. That's really nice. It's quick to do. Uh, and these options here, I'll show you what these do later. It fixes a couple of uh, uh, perceived problems of the 7300 uh, that people have, and uh, the software fixes it. So I'll show you that later. Uh, that's for another video. So uh, this is it. I really like uh, RunLog uh, Next Generation, and we'll get into it a little bit more, more on the next video. Uh, it works well. I've been playing around with it. I had it set up with FL Digi and uh, uh, contesting the RTTY Ready Contest, and uh, it was working. Uh, uh, really, uh, really had fun with it. 
Uh, the only thing that I wish it had was uh, uploading to QRZ.com and it's not going to have that. Uh, so I'm just going to have to do without it if I'm going to use it on uh, on the Mac, if I'm going to use it a lot or I'm just going to have to upload it later manually. But it does upload to uh, EQSL and it will upload the club log uh, and those are, those are really nice. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please visit my website www.k0pir.us If you have any questions or comments, uh, just please make them below. Uh, thanks again for watching. Best 73. Good DX.